it. Get over yourself. Fucking Mel Gibson. Right. So uh, Blizzard may be pioneering the next phase of esports as they look to form an Overwatch league modeled after traditional sports leagues. This is so cool. Yeah. Their idea is to form a league with teams based out of major cities where players have guaranteed salaries and benefits. Professional teams would also have feeder teams used to find the best players in the area to funnel up towards the pro scene. Many entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, and team owners have been visiting Blizzard to get more details and bids and a bid to host a team. Uh, bids to host a team are expected to begin within a few months. This. That's super awesome. It, this, is this is groundbreaking. Really, cool. really fascinating. This yes. is really fascinating. The first thing is is that that players and and competitors in the league would be fairly compensated with a guaranteed salary. Guaranteed salary. That's a big deal, dude. I mean, and also totally. making it regional. Yes. Yes. We talk, we identified this on insert name here that <laughs> on our new show on our new show our new show is that. It, Insert name here. That's a pretty it's good not, name. Mm, I, bet it's, it's, I bet that's taken. Yeah. That's, that's taken. Probably, that is probably taken. Let me tell uh, That one of the biggest issues I think people have connecting with esports is so many of the best teams are over in Korea or Japan. There's none of that like regional pride that you get up. Uh, whereas if there was an American league, you would get behind the team nearest your city. Right. It's the same thing you see in the NFL. Right. Like the Lions suck. They're awful. They're awful. Year. They're apparently like right they're now. okay this year. I don't know why. Yeah, they're yeah, first see? in the division. Yeah. Who knows? Idiot. <laughs> but despite that, they still pack that stadium yeah. every week because they're Detroit's team. Right. What are you going to do? Root for the Ravens? Well, and 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 it does give you a bit of ownership of it. You know what I mean? Like it, you you do feel that regional pride. Yes. Uh, and I think that that is a big part of competition too. You know, like it's cool that we're competitive among. You know the on the world stage, and it is fun to root for the U.S. teams, even though most of the time they lose. Hmm. Uh, oh man, league world is rough. Well, yeah, uh, and I just I I love this idea. I love this idea, and the fact that you know, like, of course this would come out of Blizzard. Of Blizzard course. has the organization to like get their head around this. You know what I mean? Like, good on the good on Blizzard, and I, I again, I just I love. Hearing that from the outset, the intention is to have guaranteed salaries and benefits because you know with Blizzard backing this, that this is going to set the standard for esports teams in the United States. Yep, and it's you know this is something that we've we've talked about before, uh, but you know it is really important in a fledgling sport like this to compensate and take care of the talent that's out there doing the work that's important Absolutely. and the, and the fact and again the fact that this is coming from blizzard is going to put pressure on any other esports team or any other esports league out there that is not guaranteeing those same things to their players because let's be honest it's the same skill set that you use in overwatch that you use in call of duty you might be use you know the game mechanics are different but that skill set is the same and if you want to keep talent in your league you take care of them uh, so i think we're going to see i think we're going to see with this a lot of talent a lot of pro esports talent uh, like make real efforts at getting into Overwatch. Well, and I like the idea too that they're talking about having farm systems in each of the regional yeah. areas. Yeah. Because that gives people who might want to try that, like they have a path. They know, okay, if I want to eventually play for my area's pro team, I need to start br trying to break in with our farm clubs. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and, and colleges are in the same, you know, oh, like yeah. they've been ahead of this curve. So they have talent to be able to pull, pull from. I, I think that this is brilliant. This is great. Didn't we do a story about a month or so ago where uh, Blizzard hired somebody from a professional league, like the NFL or something, to do something to organize this kind of stuff? I don't remember us having that story, mm. but I believe it. Um, it would make sense. Yeah. And, I mean, it sounds vaguely familiar, but... Because we were wondering, why would they hire somebody from a professional league like the NFL or something, but something like that? Hmm. It made no sense at the time. Interesting. Hmm. But nevertheless, it makes a lot of sense now. And it's it's super cool. And we talked about the need uh, if they want esports to continue growing, they were going to eventually have to model traditional sports in some way. Yeah, it's, right. And uh, it's exciting to see us get there. Right. Cool. 